resources so you can study. All right, what I'd like to do, guys, is show you how to find the composition of functions. You have f of g of x, g of f of x, and f of f of x. So just a real quick reminder, this f of g, what's really written as, we can actually rewrite that as f of g of x. And g of f, it can be written as g of f, be written as g of f of x. So what, you're, what we're going to do is we're actually going to evaluate our f of x function into the other function. So, and I forgot to say, or when f of x equals, when x squared equals, when f of x equals x squared and g of x equals x minus 1. So if I wanted to do first complete f of g, I'm going to plug my g of x equation into my x squared. So for my first problem, if I want to find out what f of g of x was, that's going to equal x minus 1 squared. I took my g of x equation and I plugged it into my f of x equation. And then therefore now I just take this, I just square this, which will become x squared minus 2x plus 1. Then to do the next one, if I was going to do g of f of x, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this x squared into that other equation, into my g of x equation. So it's just going to simply be x squared minus 1. I can't simplify that any further. Then if I'm going to do f of f, f of f means f of f of x. So therefore, to find f of f of x, that's going to equal x squared into x squared. And then, remember when you have an exponent to an exponent, you're going to multiply your exponent, so your final solution will be x to the fourth. So that is three simple ways how to find the composition of functions given f of g of x, g of f of x, and f of f of x.